Hey, this is the Pizza here, and I'm going to be showing you guys my setup in Runes of Magic. So I'm doing a live video right now, because it'll be a lot easier to do a live commentary video rather than trying to time everything with the explanations of all my add-ons and setup. So uh, I'm going to show you how to get the extra skill bars on the side. First you go into System interface settings action bars and you should just enable all of these and just use the defaults so that's how you get all those extra action bars for all the other skills uh... to stop the let's see i think you have to stop the uh... little if you just start the game and you get a private message, you'll see a little box pop up in the lower right corner of your screen. So to stop that, just uh, uncheck Whisper. And all I have is private channel checked. And anything you have checked here will have a little box pop up every time something someone says something in that channel. So that's how to get rid of that little dialog box. Um, and... I have a list of my add-ons written down right now because I knew there was no way I'd actually remember them so let's see I got PB info which I already described in another video Y gather which I also described in another here you can see all the little the little dots on the map corresponding to all the materials in the area and I have wow map which uh, makes using the map a lot easier. You can see as I scroll over certain areas they become highlighted in sort of tan color and I can just click on that area click on the area and there you go. So yeah here's are the materials in Dust Devil Canyon and I also have uh, status bars which is how you can see under the player effect it says holy steel and enhanced armor I think yeah if I target myself you can see target effects and it gives you the exact amount of time they have left so I also have advanced auction house which go over to the auction house clerk right here uh, you can see that the only thing changed from up here really is the filter and let's just click search so I can filter I don't know let's go to armor plate and yeah there's all this I'm not sure if that's in the regular auction house I haven't used the default auction house in such a long time but uh, there's the filter and I search like plus 40 search and yeah, you can see that the plus 40 is in the set bonus here for plus 40 stamina. And that's got plus 40 magical defense, plus 40 dexterity. And then you can do and. So let's say I want to search plus 40 and plus 35. And search again. Then it only comes with these two. So it makes using the auction house a lot easier. And you can see that the, uh, the price per unit thing, which let me get to something that shows it more clearly uh, materials ores then oh, take away the plus 40 search again searching there we go okay uh, you can see the zinc nugget the uh, the prices are like slightly green which means it's a decent price for the for the product at this moment and that's the that's a high price for the item because it's in red the higher the price the higher above the average price for that item it is so if something's a uh, deep green then it's a really good price if something's dark red then it's a really high price so you can see here at the mysticide ingot it's pretty high priced right now and also in the lower left hand corner of the auction house window you can see the diamond to gold rate which right now is at 16,000 it's gone up a lot with all these recent diamond 
diamond sales, uh, average price per unit. Uh, average, is that average price per unit for diamonds? It's only 12,000 apparently. I can just do that by searching money, diamonds, search. And yeah, you can also write everything by price per unit. So, I think I forgot to select diamonds. There we go. Uh, search. Yeah, you can see right now the cheapest is 15,000, which used to be around 10,000. So, prices are going up, uh, which is why I haven't really bought anything with diamonds in a very long time. Uh, the latest thing I bought with diamonds was my uh, permanent mount, which uh, I haven't spent a single real world penny on this game. Everything I've got is from, uh, from just building up gold and buying diamonds in the auction house. Let's see, next add-on is new buff, not end buff, because the end buff does not work with the latest patches. So this is new buff, you can see I have it in, uh, around my mini-map, and there's also PB info. You can see it right here. Uh, it's got a lot of a lot of options and a lot of features. Uh, I don't use the PB info quest tracker anymore, because actually I like the the new quest tracker they put in with the recent updates. So, you, yeah, you can even uh, move the casting bar if it's in the way of some of your skill bars or something. Show the exact casting time and stuff like that. So, here's new buff, which, uh, let's see, I think it's slash... I'm just going to type in slash new buff and see what happens. Okay. Yeah, so here's new buff, and you can see I have my buff spells, which are holy seal and enhanced armor. Uh, set to activate in combat and it'll just cast those whenever they run low so whenever my holy seal and advanced armor wears out it'll automatically cast them so I don't have to pay attention to it as much and potion menu in case you want to use any potions when you're at a certain amount of health or at a certain amount of mana heal menu for priests for when you you know, need to heal someone at a certain amount of health. And here's the help menu which shows you the corresponding numbers to all the different skill bars. So that's new buff. And then I have class swap, which... Just get to my house made. Uh, normally when you swap classes, you have to go through the... I just want to switch, then you have to... It opens up the menu, and you have to click your primary and select your secondary here. I just click, I want to switch. It does it for me, and switches. Click it again. Does it for me, and it switches back. So that's handy when you're turning in dailies to level up your secondary, and you don't have the hassle of having to go through all those menus the entire time. And the last one is... ROM mail, which is right here. You can see uh, the mailbox. I don't have any mail right now, so can't really show too many features, but uh, let's say you get a lot of mail that you sold a bunch of stuff on the auction house, and with the regular mail system, you have to click on everyone, click on every individual mail, and then click uh, take the gold or take the money or take the items or whatever. And so here you can just select take all and it will take all the gold money and items from every single mail in your mailbox and then you can delete all of them at once instead of having to go through each individual mail and deleting them so that's all the add-ons I really use right now uh, wow map for some reason has not been working with the instances as you can see here I because normally you can select the instance and you see a little symbol pop up can select the instance and it'll show you a map of the instance, but it's not working for any instances. Not sure why, but it's just not. Like here, no map. Don't know why it doesn't work, but it doesn't. So, and I've looked for updates, but uh, I haven't been able to find any. So if anyone knows if there's a, a version of WoW map that actually works with the newest patches, 
uh, let me know because I like having maps of the instances, especially in ones that aren't exactly linear and you can get lost pretty easily. And so that's that's my uh, setup in Ruins of Magic. If you have any more questions about my setup, you can leave a comment in the video in the comment section below. So that's it for this video. Till next time.